All right, so I gotta put this out there because a lot of our people are not looking at the issue at hand. Ever since this committee within the government had this meeting pertaining to the aliens, our people, see, this is what you get when you play all day. This is what you get when you don't study. This is what you get when you don't go back and analyze things over and over and over. I don't watch, uh, when I do research and investigations, I don't just watch things one time. I watch them over and over and over because there's certain things that you may miss in the interim based upon how you feel at that moment or how your mind state is at that moment in time. So you have to go back and look at things over and over again in order to catch what you missed before. And this, this is the thing. We don't like to humble ourselves to things that is very important and valuable to our defense when it comes to our thought process because we're so caught up in a world that wasn't built by us. And when I say a world that wasn't built by us, I'm talking about the perceptions, the definitions that we put in our mind that has given us our perception of what the world is. And now this perception has become something that we worship. And the whole time, there have been things around us that have been taking place that we couldn't see due to our ignorance of wanting to be a part of a perception that you think is real. Now, you all have to bear with me within the next few moments because there's a lot I have to get off my chest pertaining to this alien shit. Now, a lot of you might hear what I'm saying and say, well, we haven't heard this before. Or oh, he just sound crazy. It's fine. Because you are not the type of people who think for yourself. You allow a system to think for you. And this is why you're in a very predicament that you in. And the people that you call crazy are the ones who are going to be your saviors. Because these people think outside of the box. And being outside of the box to you sheep is not normal. Because you are always taught to think inside of the box. Don't question anything. But yet you have a brain. We look at this alien situation and act as, as if it's something new. Or all oh, these people are evil. And you let somebody keep feeding you a perception of something. And the people that's giving you your perception, you trust them so, so, so deep. To the point where you are not yourself no more. You are becoming the very people who's giving you your perception. So now you have these people in a committee. On a stage. A governmental committee. On a stage. Telling you that these aliens were aggressive. If I'm not making a mistake or if I'm thinking correctly, the same government that's telling you that these entities or these beings are aggressive have been the same government waging war in other countries, killing innocent children and women, sex trafficking children, giving diseases to innocent cultures of people, and you're going to let them tell you that these people are aggressive? This is a stage, people, and they are setting you up so that when your defense come from a place that they haven't been teaching you about in school, it's going to look very, 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 very foreign to you. And instead of you going this way, you're going to be going that way because they gave you a perception that this was aggressive when really in actuality it's something that you are connected to because that's what you are. They've been telling you that you are human. 
And even though your Bible said, be not of the flesh because you are not the flesh, the flesh is what makes you human. It classifies you as that. Just like they classify you as being a corporation on your birth certificate when your name is on all capital letters. This is what makes you a corporation when you come out the womb. And this gives them justification to take taxes from you. I'm not going to go off subject. So now, you have a people telling you that the aliens are aggressive. The aliens been here. The aliens grew up in the ghettos, in the hoods. The aliens are in jail. The aliens are in prison. Sound crazy, don't it? The aliens are the people who you say were in slavery. Y'all just don't get it yet, do you? Why would a group of people focus energy on enslaving people in a way where it's intellectually oppression. This is intellectual oppression. They put you in ghettos, they put you in hoods, and they put you in places called projects. And you don't question that. What is a project? That's an experiment. So they put you in a projects, experiment on you through their legislation and laws to control you and make you think that you are smaller than what you think you are. And the perception that they paint of you is what you accept. So now they're going to set up a stage. They gave you a religion and say that Christ will come back and save you. You will see him coming out of the clouds. I'm sorry, people. You might get mad. It ain't Christ. It's these things that they're saying that's aggressive that's going to come back. Or is trying to come back to give you something. But they have to set the stage psychologically to make you fear them because when you fear your mother and father, you can't see them as your mother and father. So when your mother and father try to come back and save you, right, and you are given a perception that they were evil and aggressive, you will go this way. You will enlist into military when it's time for them because, trust me, they're going to be enlisting people soon. A lot of people, they're going to be calling for people to enlist in the military soon because these things, if they are aggressive, it's not because of you. It's because of the shit that this government have been doing to you. And now karma is about to whoop their ass. And so now they're trying to hurry up and save themselves by recruiting the children of those who they are calling aggressive. The children of those who are the children that they hung on trees. Now, let me just say this for the record. I've always put it on the record that we are not who we think we are. They call you humans and they make you uh, uh, abhor this energy, this language, this word. Oh, I'm a human. I love being human. When in actuality, you are more than human. I cannot stress that the words that we say and the words that they create and their languages they put in our mind is the words that create our perception. If, you did, if you've never been introduced to the word human, if they never introduced you to that word human, you couldn't call yourself human, so therefore you wouldn't have a perception of being human. The word human did not exist at one time. Just like I said, the word God didn't exist at one time. These things, these words were made up. So they could place it in your biological computer to create your perception of who you are. And they created the word earth to make you think that this is where you are. And sky and ocean, up there, down here. Direction, time. When you can measure something, you can control it. You can cut it. You can enlarge it. You can make it be what it's really not. And this is what these words are doing to your brain. Something that you are downloading into until you exit into another computer or a vehicle to be given another perception. Your soul is not human. You cannot be the body and the soul. You can use the body 
to navigate through certain dimensions and lifetimes, but you can't be the body. Just because you get inside of a car don't mean that you're the car. The car is just a vehicle to get you from point A to point B. That's the same thing for the body. And the body identifies to be what? Human. You are not the body, meaning that you are not human. You are the soul. And the soul is that which you cannot see. Which brings it outside of the jurisdiction of being terrestrial, making it extra terrestrial. Meaning that you are an extra terrestrial inside of a spaceship, a body that's going from one life to another or one world to another to evolve, to experience. To experience being lower life forms. But you are really in actuality the force that they told you to pray to. It's all been a lie. I sound crazy at the moment, but this has all been a lie. The government is a stage. And on this stage are magicians and scientists who are used to create and control the minds and the perceptions of the people who they who vote for them. I'm telling y'all right now, there are skies inside of certain parts of the oceans. And there are oceans in certain parts of the sky. And if you think for one moment that in this infinite universe that we are the only life forms that exist, then something is wrong with you. And let's just step off subject for a minute. Even if these were aliens that were green monsters, right? Aggressive. Well, now we will have to go back to the drawing board of religion to ask where they came from. Excuse me. We have to ask where they came from. Because if in the beginning, God created man and woman in this image and after his own likeness, and God created everything, then that means that these aliens who are aggressive are in the image and likeness of this God that created everything. Or you have to be finally pushed to admit that there's another God who created these aliens. Now, which one is it? Because either way, you pushed against the wall. That means that all the stuff y'all believe in have been believing in been led to be believed that the truth and reality of a God who created you and his image and likeness, meaning that everything that comes from God is the children of God, then that means that these aggressive aliens is the children of God as well. I didn't see in the Bible where it said the devil created life or the devil created Man and woman in his image and likeness. So now, um, theologians, I ask you respectfully if these aliens exist the way that y'all say they do, which I don't think so, which I know it ain't. I know who they are. But if they do exist as aggressive green monsters, why did God? create these aliens to be such a mystery to his children if we're all children of God this video is going to step on some toes but I need an answer to all you theologians answer my question who created these aliens because you have to be pushed to admit that there's an, either another God or the same God that created the world Right? Created these aliens. And now you have to ask the question, oh, why would God create aggressive aliens? To be a mystery to his children, even though if God created the world, that means that we must admit that God created these aliens, meaning that we have mysterious brothers and sisters that we don't know about, that have been hidden from us, that's so aggressive. Y'all better stop being sheep. Y'all better get out them clubs. Stop eating this bullshit. And start thinking.
This is what you got a brain for. Stop allowing this world to think for you. Stop allowing this world to be a reality for what you are. Because what you are is bigger than a reality. You create reality, not from here, but from somewhere else. This is just a shadow of your reality. Black Science TV 111, Osega 4, I'm out. Peace.